guys, welcome to Rotor Ride. And today we are going to see if we can get eight DJI quads to fly at the exact same time. We're going to be flying our HD1 spec quads. It's always been a challenge with RC. Like even early control link technology used to interfere with each other, but as spread spectrum technology came out, control links don't really interfere with each other as much anymore. When you go to an event like Flight Fest, they'll put 200 planes up in the air at the same time. But once you're doing something like FPV, that problem becomes very real again. And typically we're using a 5.8 analog video system. You know, a video feed, it takes a, it takes a pretty wide bandwidth. So Jamie, what happens when you try to fly with multiple analog pilots? You not only have to coordinate who's on what channels, you have to know if the channels are even going to work together because not everybody flies the same bands. If you're too close, you just bleed into each other and see everybody else's video while you're trying to fly. It gets kind of like heated, like people get aggravated. Like, who plugged in? Who's plugged in over there? DJI, with their digital system, has come up with an ecosystem that alleviates a lot of the pinch points of flying with other people. We've never tried to max it out though. And they're saying that we should be able to fly eight pilots. What do you think about that? You think it's gonna work? I think I'm pretty confident. You're pretty confident? I have, am. Have you flown with more than one person two. so far? Yeah, two, two, people. two DJI pilots at the same time. There was no question, or there was no, no issues. Problem. No. So instead of just going to an open field, and to bring this to like a spot that's gonna be horrible RF. I mean, this is where if we were flying this in 5.8, with even three people, it would be a super issue. But I think, I think this is like the worst case scenario besides a band though. Yeah, I mean, how many people have you flown with that also have the DJI system? Like before? two or three. Did you ever have a problem being on the same channel? No. Right, so what's really cool, what DJI has implemented is what they call a public channel, and that's channel eight. So anytime you boot up your drone, the drone starts on channel eight. It looks out there for other DJI pilots, it sees which channels are in use and it won't let you go there. See, that's really cool. Like yeah. having that technology makes channel management a breeze. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't know it did that. It's really cool. What I'm really curious about because the air units are on like 700 milliwatts when mm -hmm. they're unlocked. Generally, flying with eight people with that kind of power right. in the sky, that's not a normal situation that I've ever been in. This should be really interesting. Yeah. gonna start with three pilots at once and see what their experience is when they plug in, get ready to go, and then once they get in the air, you know, what kind of blockages and stuff they have. Where do you think that your cutoff limit where your comfortability? How many pilots? Yeah, some I pilots. think I'm gonna start getting nervous at like five. It's so weird to have such good quality in the parking garage where I can see the details of the pavement on the ground. I'm all the way in the back of the parking garage right now and I'm not dealing with any problems. I have a little bit of breakup. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's a good spot too. Should I let you go up in the next heat? Yes. I wanted. I was ready two minutes after we got here. Let's go straight to five. We could do that too. Straight to let's, five. Yeah, yeah we're gonna go straight from three to five. Three worked out too well. Three, five, we gotta seven. be pushing this. You're let's crunching do, stuff. Well, who's the five? Time. Are you flying? I'm flying. Yeah, Plug it in. Plug it in. Fly again. Okay. <laughs> Chad is so excited. <laughs> Way worse. Lower just frame rate. Yeah, oh, it's really, really bad. It's super laggy, super blocky. Oh, you know what, guys? Hold on. What's up? I think if you guys all stand so close to each other, because oh. the goggles also pop off. Maybe land, right, yeah. and then let's spread out the bodies. All right, spread them out. Going all the way. To way better. Now that I'm not close to everybody, it's back to how it was the last flight. That's interesting. I, I, yeah, and I think people have already tested and proven that, so yeah, that was just so oversight on our part. Something we're not used to because usually the goggles have nothing to do with it, right? Right. So yeah, moving away from people tends to make the signal a little bit better. I'm also more out open in the field. I have less interference from the trees behind me. This is much better. Flying 2D is fun. Experience. It's great. My battery sucks. It's already dead. 
as one of my batteries. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. When we were all standing next to each other, I definitely experienced uh, some some lag, and that was mine was horrible. Yeah. When we that were was right next to each other, relief, it was it was at pretty first, bad. I was like, we just found the limit. We got about like I don't know, 12 feet away from each other maybe, and that was really nice. Much like, better. I'm Hot Rod FEV. <laughs> Why are you here? Cause cause I'm yeah, I'm Mr. Stellar Fox. <laughs> Mr. Stellar Fox. That's Mr. Fox. Like probably some of the happiest pilots ever who've been in this game for a while too. So to get this excited is, that's something. Jeff, give me some uh, excitement. Oh my God! How's everyone got video? I am waiting on video. Oh, something's know. happening, something's happening, give it a second. So what happened? So when all the quads plugged in, uh, it seemed like they were trying to find each other's channels, but because everyone was still plugging in, some of the air units weren't aware of what the other air units were already on, because they're still booting up. And essentially it cut out my video and went to black. But now replugging in the quad, everything seems to be working. It took a couple seconds to figure out what it was doing, but hey, it's working. Is everyone recording? Yes. All right. It's a swarm! It's a swarm! The video is the same now as it was when it was three of us. This is so crazy! We just ever. showed up! Yeah. At a thing. At a thing. And just did that. We flew a thing! We flew yeah, a thing! Flew a thing. <laughs> okay, so we just did seven. I mean, it just so, I don't know if eight's gonna work because eight is a public channel. It's really just supposed to be like a bus stop where when you plug in, you show up at channel eight, it looks, see, is there an opening? Is there an open seat? Okay, I can sit down. So basically, we're just gonna fill up all the seats and then I'm gonna show up late to the party. <laughs> Does anyone's goggles say they're on chat? You're on eight? Yeah. That's crazy. Why did you kick me on eight? I don't know, let's try it. I got the good chip. I got the good chip. <laughs> minute I just saw one perfect HD quad just it was like a single frame of like hello there <laughs> boom <laughs> That's the truth. That, was that is amazing. truth. I've seen the light. It's, oh my god. 
What? Like, where did I it have go no from? idea. I don't know. Like, and what? eight, eight was fine. Eight was fine. What I loved was seeing that it saw what we were doing and it just kind of rearranged us or yeah, whatever. I don't know what it's doing. Yeah. But it works. The only thing we had to do that was like at all a little bit of work was like stagger the plugins. Yeah. Pure magic. This is what I was hoping would be FPV when I started. Remember when I started out, my goggles were slightly on the wrong band of channel than my video transmitter for six months. I had really bad video. With a system like this, things like that are a thing of the past. And that has me excited for the future of FPV in a way that I've never been before. It worked out a lot better than I thought. What did you think was I happen? thought it was going to do basically what it does when you run out of range. Like when you go too far, it gets a little blocky and laggy. I thought it would do that, but it seemed the same whether we had three, five, or eight. I would definitely say don't ever fly on eight unless you have to because you have eight people total because he was just up and if someone else had plugged in, that's when you would have a problem. Because I thought I was just going to be plugging in on eight and hoping it worked. I plugged in on eight and it moved him I'm to eight and let me have seven for whatever reason. Is that it? Oh, this is the drip squad. Okay, uh, Chad, step aside. <laughs> guys that was eight quads in the air at one time at an office park with tons of concrete and metal everywhere. Woo! Can we get a round of applause for the That was awesome. Amazing. The right? only time we had issue is when we plugged in too quickly. So as long as you kind of plug in way, plug in the next one, I mean it, it just It'll just put your rank and file where you need to be. Just handle it I for just us. had an issue with hitting the concrete. That also yeah. is now yeah, It looks so pretty. And we'd like to thank DJI for sponsoring this episode and bringing this whole new revolution of HD into our hobbies. Well, that would have ruined the whole shot. I'm really glad that you got that. Thank you. <laughs> Are you going to be part of the outro? <laughs>